Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Von Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. Don't come. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess. We find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir. What brings you here? Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this dream. island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. That's right. Until now, I've never been invited by Lord Mortimer. You'll see. You won't soon forget him. Given what I've seen so far, I wish I'd been passed over. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. Duchess. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A Cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Are you all right? He's having a backlash. It's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother! No! Don't! Don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you... if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But... I trusted you. No, sir. Don't! No! No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for <sighs> You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. Uh, 
I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Uh... 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 Well, over the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves that tortured their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Uh, not at all. How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me? <laughs> what a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met? Uh oh, your skill. Give you access to the choices and actions at the cost of effort. Points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost. Okay. Uh, we probably have the most popular place for the Paris. Cheer her up, I'll make her lose the train. Cheer her thoughts. Pretend to be hurt for her not to believe you. Uh. Don't you remember? We bumped into each other at Mesmer's show in Paris. Oh, shit, that up, fraudster Jim? had even bamboozled the Marquis of Lafayette. This is called you the council. Too, apparently, because I've never been to see him. Ouch. Well, that didn't work. Right. Time to go to the manor. Yeah, this is called the council. I ask her a question. She answers with another. Is she playing with me? Yes, she is playing with you. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you s huh. still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Riche. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Sir, may I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? 
Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. Sir's mother. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. S we came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? The On handkerchief. the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. <sighs> Let me have the handkerchief. Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, but... Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. And I... having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. I must return now. There is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. Well, it is indeed your don't, handkerchief, Mother. Don't talk, just do You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing yeah, out here on this wharf? Yeah. It's like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. Okay. So I'm gonna look through everything. This chest might belong to Duchess Hill. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Honey. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Hmm. A sack of seeds. Not that. It's like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Just take the bar. This might just come in handy. Where the fuck did you put it? Put it in your butt, didn't you? Let's check out this rope. Oh. Oh, jelly. What is this? Some rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. Well, maybe nobody needs to touch it. What's hidden inside? Oh, laters. Laters. Let's look. Nothing. Ah, one of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order. And I recognize your handwriting anywhere, Mother. But who is this Samuel Ritter Doshua? Who are you writing to? 
I don't recognize the name. Samuel. Let's see what's inside this letter. El Samuel. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. Manuel Godoy. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your Sarah game Faustine. here, Mother? Secrets, always more secrets. You've never talked to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think. Godoy, Godoy. Godoy. Manuel Godoy. Why does the name sound so familiar? Okay, okay. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. Of course but he's Spanish. I just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. All right. Well, let's keep looking. Oh, we already did. Look for clues or go to manner. We're going to keep looking for clues for a minute. For a minute. Go to the manor, shall we? Sure. Oh. oh, there's a passage right here. Get it open barehanded. Use the iron bar. Clearly, I'm not much for manual labor. Let's see if I can get it open another way. Uh, force this shit open. Uh, there we are. Sure. But it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. I don't understand what the little things were on the bottom. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Uh huh. What do we hear? It's cannon powder. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother, and quickly, too. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. That was a waste of time. Inscription. And Nessis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus regatur. Ah, oh, I can't translate.
How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Rice, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't if seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway... I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. During the confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story. So don't hesitate to use your skills. Okay. Thank you, my son. I'll bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? No. Uh, never mind. Give me the letter. Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. Ah. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. <clears throat> she has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's it's surely just an oversight. Hi, Sarah. Most certainly. How is you? You said you work together. What do you do exactly? It is remarkable. My mother and I belong to the same secret organization, the Golden Order, which I joined a few years ago. Mother trained me, and I assist in her research. In other words, you can trust me. <laughs> My child, you are telling a perfect stranger that you and your mother work for a secret society. It would seem that discretion is not one of your specialities, my son. You will understand that it does not encourage me to put my trust in you. Shit! All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Ah, uh, I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Listen. You have nothing to fear. I will give your letter to my mother the moment I find her. The moment you find her? You mean Sarah has gone missing? Shit. I shouldn't have said that. Let's not exaggerate, Your Eminence. I have no other information at this time. It's probably nothing. 
Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother would read it? For the last step of confrontation, you must convince the person. You are talking to by giving a positive answer. A bad answer, the step will repeat itself until either you give a right one. Okay. <laughs> Before God, that no one. I swear by the Almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. No, Listen, good. let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son, be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her that time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Hidden elements. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them have no... Well, some of them will have an impact on your adventure. So do not hesitate to look at them. Look for them. Well, go back to the group near the chimney. So where's the fucking chimney? The fucking chimney over there? Yes, it's fucking right there. What's this? this? Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Take the book. Yeah. Okay. Where's the book? Okay. Oh. I thought my oh. chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President George of Washington. the United States of America. Washington. Delighted George at Washington. last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you'll forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. 
It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer. But uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Why should I tell you? Lord Mortimer asked me to drop everything and come find my mother, who seems to have disappeared during her stay here. Oh. I took the first boat, and here I am. I'm so sorry. Don't be, sir. It's not your fault. Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Look at this George Washington shit. Good lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. Mm -hmm. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friend. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. Fuck? He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apology. With hair. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Well, let's go at home. Fuck. Stay with the nosy person or go know about your mother. Any, many, many, mo. Let's find out. Let's see what Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. Lord Mortimer is a remarkable man. He's wealthy and is advisor to the very highly placed. Your mother is the head of the Order in France. It doesn't surprise me that he asked her to come. Lord Mortimer greatly contributed to financing my electoral campaign, for example. But I want this to be clear, without ever seeking to gain an advantage. And that is to his credit. Yes, you can trust him. He will do everything in his power to help you find Sarah. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. 
When did you last speak to her? Philadelphia. Fifteen years ago. Sarah often went back and forth between France and the United States. Yes, I remember those days. I didn't see her too often. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? When she came to the U.S., did you exchange ideas about the Golden Order? Exactly. What's more, she was essential in helping set up the American branch of the Order. I would never have become its leader without her help. We are a new country. And to achieve our democratic ideals, we need to count on discreet powers such as our organization. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least Find now I have some information, complete. thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Huh. Oh. I wonder if mother is still on the island. Could she not have taken a boat and left? I don't see how. No vessel can moor closer than 200 yards. Not to mention the permanent presence of staff and servants. There is one strange thing, I grant you. This island is barely the size of Delaware, and despite that, no one has been able to locate your mother. So my mother still must be on the island. Well, what about now? Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Careful, they're coming back. Hello. Ooh. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond okay. of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Sir Holm, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? <clears throat> Who's Elizabeth Adams? Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. On that note, it's very late. You must, must be here. exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. Hey, twin. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. Can you hear me now? You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. Okay. See you in the morning. Good night, What's sir. Up, twin? I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. Jim, it's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Well, we're gonna go look for your room. Mm. 
Duchess Emily Hillsboro. Oh, that's Duchess's room. Can't go in there. Let's go look for my room. Twin, 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 twin. What about this one? Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Monsieur. Monsieur Jacques Perru. It's called the Council. I'm not even sure the chat can hear me. The quorum guide. Can y'all hear me? Hello? 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 Just kick over it. Yeah. Oh, is this my room? You're running on seven hours of sleep in two days, twin? I can't go down? How come I can't go down? I can't go down. I can only go up, but I can't go down. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> That's what she said. I can only go down. I don't come up. <laughs> she said I got to breathe through my nose. If you choke. <laughs> okay. Get back in her steam. How much, so much pain. Damn, twin. She says she's in seven hours of sleep in two days. Well, why are you in pain, twin? President George Washington. El President George Washington. George Washington is fucking nosy in this game. But why are you in pain, twin? What's the matter? Come on, cat. I know it's his pillow. I was using it for a prop. Oh, I hear feet steps. I think she's still typing. What was that? The royal jelly. Let's check out. Where are we at? I just, I need to find my room. Is my room? 
Monseigneur, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Ella Piaggi. Huh, that's me. Huh, I found my room. Finally. Twin! Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. My liver is constantly but if I open hurting, it, and I'll I be have been Piaggi's working trust. on standing so feet are jerking. You hear me, love? That sucks, twin. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see what it contains. <laughs> Too bad for Piaggi. So, it really is a list of French countrymen. Piaggi wasn't lying, but now it's opened. I better get it to Mother soon. Wow, nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. See the doctor again, twin. Wednesday. Jamai, are you still here, Jamai? I did not find all the clues about my mother on the decks. I did not. I didn't pick up the book on the choir. I don't care. I could have joined Sir Helen the small in the small saloon. I could have waited. Now that's the encounter. Well, you know. It's a whatever. Let's go and see if Hey Salty Nanny. Huh, salt Mary. These nuts. What's that? Equipping manuscripts. Here you can choose what to read during the adventure. Each manuscript you read confers skill points at the end of the quest. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's start the quest. I'm going to let Lisa know what they say as soon as I get home. She said, okay. I, I didn't hear you. Oh, she said you better. Oh, I can't sound like her, but she said you better. Let her know. Your turn? The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted, given that I they promise. must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know? Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of de Richet's room hasn't <laughs> turned up any results. <laughs> Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. The Louis Sahara patient of not yet having met the Sahara. Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Sarah says Are hello. Are you waiting for someone? A young French Sarah soldier. Sarah says hello to you. During our game of chess, 
Sarah, worry, Sarah Trouble. Gregory, the game won't disappear. She's a heller. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. All right, I love you too, Queen. We have much Hope to discuss. Hope you can sleep. One last move. Ooh. Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend. He threw the horse in the fire. Did y'all see that? That's animal abuse. George Washington. A little nighttime stroll, Mr. President. There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. Ooh. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. Mr. George Washington. That's George Washington. <gasps> Your nose is bleeding, sir. I'm coming. Yo, hold up. I'm coming. Not literally, but I'm coming. Excuse me. Am I bothering you? The moose. <laughs> no, not in the least. It's the moose. Is wrong? I'm going to need your help. Please tell me you on the moose where the sh lady we spoke of in your hall. <laughs> Please tell me. No. What's her name again? Elizabeth Adams. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John, John Adams. Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens. Hmm. I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you, you heard, are the you president of the United her. States, I why do you want me minutes. to do that for you? But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Let's help George Washington uh, investigate your bunch of vision. Let's help, George. Count on me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. She must not return to her room. How the fuck are we going to do this? Oh. Join Adams According in the to Washington, small Lady saloon. Adams is in the small salon. I better hurry. Oh, salon, not saloon. Monseigneur, his eminence, Cardinal Piaggi. Oh. Louis, you're straying from your objective. I'm here trying to get baby to sleep. Oh. Cute nose, bro. What's up, bro? Oh, I will snap. <laughs> Mr. You know. You know. We're just moosing around. <laughs> no business here, just moosing around. Morning, Dave. Morning, buddy. My brother, what can you, say? Uh, you hear Lisa over there? She's like my brother. Louis, you're straying from your objective. <laughs> Zero six hundred six twenty. 
<laughs> Damn, bro, it's 6.20 in the morning? What the fuck? It's 12.19 over here. My sister Lisa. We're just moosing around. Just moose, we're just moosing the goose. You know. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, you know, Lisa's talking to Kathy. <laughs> How the fuck does I get downstairs? Oh, okay. Yeah, now. <laughs> Time to wake up. Time to wake and bake and hit the coffee. Well, you can wake and bake. Uh, I'll drink some coffee. But, sir. Sir, sir, you know, Bell. <laughs> Kathy's yelling at me for talking to ya. Oh, oh, for, oh, for giving you a wrench. But you've already had a wrench in here. I don't know what happened to it. He's got a fucking wrench in my fucking chat, yeah. You hear that? Well. I don't know if you can hear that, but Kathy's yelling at me for giving you a wrench. It's all right. She's just moosing around. <laughs> My son. Oh, you are a Kathy, godsend. but he doesn't need a wrench. What's the your eminence? I believe I'm Blow up and de de in danger. What do you mean? <laughs> you hear that? She's being my oh, hi, Kathy. In a small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Where's QKB? Uh, a Frenchman, it seems. By the cut of his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French on, Revolution Ligam. I gotta pause. Should do some. All right, Kathy, go ahead. I am. I did not seduce the fucking moose. Yes, you did. <laughs> I did not. You seduced the moose. That's why he's moosing around. There you go. Where's Queen Kate? Where's Queen Kathy Bates? Queen Kathy Bates is in here. She's right there. She's yelling at me all in time. Oh my God! It's the most abuser. My son. Shit! I was supposed to make sure Adams wouldn't go back to her room. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of it. Probably nothing to worry about. Do you want me to call? The moose is loose. Please don't do anything. I'm sure with that a little fucking goodwill, Jimmy, yeah. everything will work out fine. Don't go and wake up the whole manor, please. Thank you, my son. May God watch over you. Who do you think you are? Forget multiple paths. There are multiple paths to reach your objective. It may be a good idea to think twice before embarking on the moose! Mm, on the first path. Me, sir. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. You are to be my hey, lawyer. What the fuck? This is none of your business. I'm gonna teach this. I need all, all the witnesses to, to appear. Behave. What the hell is going on? Huh? I see nothing. I don't think you know who I am. Stop. I beg you. I, I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. Shit. If I step in, Adams might just run back uh -uh. to her room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's gonna uh -huh. suffer. Damn it, what should I do? Just let it go. You filthy whore! I apologize. Have mercy. Please have mercy. Uh -huh. No! Uh I apologize. No, 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 no. Mercy, mercy have, have mercy. mercy. No, no, no. Where's that smart mouth now? I'll teach you. All the witness, respect. please stand. Please raise your right hand. Now I solemnly swear. <laughs> I have seen <laughs> Kathy Bates <laughs> abuse the loose. Skin does justify the means. <laughs> I'd hoped I wouldn't have to apply that rule, but at least Washington will have enough time. Get back in your stable. Big old Clydesdale. 
The moose was an African moose because it got citizenship. Why the fuck did a moose get a citizenship? Case closed. Well, did you get time to search the room? Yes, I found out many things. Good. Did Elizabeth give you any trouble? Elizabeth? No. Well, you can't mention the Raven Maniac, huh? Case what number C six zero four nine nine nine. Frenchman. He was about to beat her when I arrived. What the devil are you talking about? Show us about? on the page. I thought he was going to kill the poor girl. You. Did you intervene? I did what was necessary to give you enough time to search your room. Good work, my friend. Why keep yells in the I back? Moose abuser! So tell me, did you find any information? Oh, Kathy Bay. Yes. Kathy made sure that Moose what got I its citizenship. I think she shipped you. in her and in herself. Elizabeth is indeed the daughter of John Adams. Why pass her off as dead? I found her medical <laughs> file. It I am on the side of the truth. Years, your mother was her personal doctor. From what I read, she behaved more like a butcher than a doctor. What are you talking about? I'm not a child. What's going on here? John believed that his daughter was possessed. He appealed to your mother to save her, but the treatment she inflicted to on be the or not to be. child. <laughs> that God. is the question. Look, stop beating around the bush. What exactly did she do to her? Did you or do did you, you not your mother capable touch the moose torturing the in the caboose? My mother got her hands dirty for the common good, so don't be too quick to judge me. I oh, did not seduce the, the moose! Of a child, of Why are you getting so offensive? Did you really the seduce the moose? Stop, stop this. For her fifth birthday, she inflicted the stigmata of Christ on her. And for her tenth birthday, a hysterectomy. You're gonna let her talk like that? Why can't you? What kind of gift is that? Let her talk to her. Get in the house. I do not doubt that your mother <laughs> meant well, but the techniques described in the file—it is pure uh, torture. Please, I need some time alone. I have seen some horrors in my time, but if what is written in these damn documents did Clinton true, protest as be much? Brave, my boy. <laughs> I think I have missed something in the chat. No, it's okay. Just, just, no. You just missed it. Kathy abused the moose. Huh? Uh, uh, Mary. What the fuck is Malanki? Malanki? I can't even. Malanki. Malanki. Muski. We're gonna look around for a minute. What is that? Let the moose talk. <laughs> the more she talks, the canary's gonna sing. Kathy, I love you. <laughs> the court has been already closed. <laughs> My hands feel like it's going. What? Oh, my head feels like it's going to explode. Well, you know, and he walked in on the case of the moose abuse. You know, show us on the moose doll where it touched you. We need to know these things, Kathy. Oh. Why are you sitting there? All right, guys. Y'all are going to sit there for a minute while I go to the restroom. Moose abuser. Of course I got to see the chat. Hold on. Hi, chat. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Why, KB? I need, get, I need to get myself a mook suit. <laughs> yes, you do, YKB. Uh, that's Kathy's fetish. Mm. 
Did Clinton protest as much? He did. And he used the same line Kathy's using. I did not have sexual relations. <laughs> with that girl. Kathy, on the other hand, is. I did not have sexual relations with that mouse. <laughs> Next, she's gonna tell us she didn't inhale. <laughs> and we all know why KB Kathy inhales. <laughs> she gonna fuck me up. Oh, she inhaled. Oh, I know why, KB. I know. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I've heard stories. Those men in the cave talk. Why, KB, they talk. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking game just scared the shit out of me. <clears throat> it's a problem free. We so quiet now for Kathy. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me for coughing in everyone's ear. Oh Jesus, she's crying. <laughs> we don't have moose tissues, Kathy. I can't help you. <laughs> Let's take you back to the safari. You'll find your long lost love, Kathy. Sicilian tears, yes. In the caves, ain't Vegas. You can tell all the papers. It's the privates, you must keep quiet. Ah, uh -huh. I see why, KB. Yeah. Kathy, I told you, we do love you. This is how we show our love. And we're not the one that seduced the moose. So, uh, I why you so angry at us for. <laughs> put, your, put your phone up there so you can hear me. Okay, hold on one second. G give me a second. Hold on, Kathy wants to yell at us in person, people. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, Kathy, yell. I want to yell. I want to tell my hubby, YKB, um, that yes, I do love you, but you're supposed to be taking my side. You know damn well. I told you that the moose, you're just jealous because you thought the moose was bigger than you. I told you. It wasn't. I did not seduce the moose. Why the fuck would YKB be jealous of a moose that was confused and was in an African safari? <laughs> YKB's not confused. He know where he's supposed to be. <laughs> moose is on in Africa. Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mary. That's all I heard. I love a moose. I love a moose. That's all YKB heard you say. <laughs> that's all I heard. Yeah, that's all I heard too. And, and yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give Mark back his headphones in his stream. Hold on. Oh, Kathy, she's gonna call you a moose dick. Lord have mercy, guys. I don't know if she can have, I don't know, learn some. I don't know. I told you I was bigger than a moose. Jeez. I'm glad I'm not on, I'm glad I'm not on Kathy's bedside. Said, <laughs> said, no, um, Mary. Bad side. Your side, you have to worry about it. It's, <laughs> it's the poor moose's side. 
Moose! That's a mouse! For fuck's sake. That says mouse. See? I'm a good girl. YKB, you are. I promise. That moose never made me choke. <laughs> Damn, I really. <laughs> she loves my bedside manner. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting out of. This is getting out of proportion here, guys. <laughs> she loves my bedside manner. <laughs> <laughs> so, did <the> moose. <laughs> so did the moose apparently <laughs> she's as loose as a moose can't even so Jacques Peru she won't take the. She won't take a. She won't take a bed bath, unless I put a moose head on. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Why can't he bit me over that bed? His moose was loose. He said mouse earlier. I think he was trying to say moose. He said I was bigger than a mouse. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. That's what she said. Focus, guys. Focus. <laughs> Fucking hell. See? It's all coming out now. Your eminence, what are you doing here? I was worried about you, my son. Uh, how did it go with Miss Adams? It could have been worse. Let's say that Miss Adams will remember it for a couple of days. I am the best lawyer what? there. Did you is. not intervene? Of course not. What did you want me to do? That thug could have snapped me in half in two seconds. So, you prefer to let that fragile young lady take a beating rather than risk getting slapped around a bit yourself? Mr. Derice. Your mother would not have been proud. Listen, next time it happens, join me instead of hiding behind the door. If you're gonna talk big, back it up. You should be ashamed. I will pray for your soul, my son. My okay. son, I have another problem. I wanted to speak to you about something important. I didn't seduce do the moose. Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you Why are you, you getting so Why do you ask? offended? I have a name to add like, to Like, you know, you enjoyed it. Here, here it is. You opened it? Don't worry about that, Your Eminence. You gave me your word, before God! I can assure you that my mother and I share everything. That's enough! Your word is worthless. I give your mother this letter myself. Objection, Your Honor. Proceed. Monsignor, his eminence, Cardinal Piaget. Danger! Danger, Will Robinson. Louis, you're straying from your objective. You can't do anything. That's hearsay. That's all hearsay. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I better go to bed. Well, I'll search my room tomorrow. <laughs> Mother stayed here right before me. You never know. In the night of the question, better show did you or did you not leave the park with <laughs> remnants of moose all over your your person? Did the moose poo in the car? Did you or did you not <laughs> touch the antlers? <laughs> Which one did you touch first? Uh, no. <laughs> it's kind of 
Furthermore, did you or did you not go back four times that same week? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even fucking... I didn't punch you, I hit you. The moose stepped on a bee! <laughs> <laughs> the Moose Seduce versus Iowa. Kathy Bates in the case of the Moose Seduce versus Iowa. <laughs> Hashtag Moose Love. The Moose had spit all over my lap. I never knew Moose spits. Free the Moose. <sighs> yes. There's seven people in this fucking chat. African immigrant moose lives matter. <laughs> and that poor moose was lost. He thought he was an African moose. Dead African moose. <laughs> That poor African moose. So right. if that if that if My that moose got citizenship, is that moose mother, moose I American? Me. I better search the room. Who knows? Maybe she left me something behind. African moose. <laughs> that African moose. Concentrate. <laughs> Alright, concentrate, Mark. I got some honey. Some royal honey. Okay. It's American now, alright. It's full of US DNA now. <laughs> I know. USDA. <laughs> USDA. <laughs> United States Dental Association. <laughs> <laughs> I know a whole panel of lawyers I will go to their channel and ask my friends for to help me. Are you sure? Is that your final answer? Get a get a Rolex while you are there, while I'm Queen Kathy. Bay bay. Hey bay bay. Hey bay bay. Torture of Ixion, condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Oh fucking hell! I sound like Kathy now. Oh fucking hell! The incredulity of Saint Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing Saint Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on but doesn't touch. The butler, huh? The butler stood by. Writing material. From what I see, no ink's ever been used on this quill. Ha ha ha! Thanks, Texas. Sounds just like Queen Kathy. Like if you spoke a bit That's odd. deeper. Oh fucking hell! <laughs> I don't fucking know. Writing material. I'm not talking about the watch community. I'm talking about my friends that are real lawyers. Are they gonna ask you? T ask, ask them. Where did where the most touch? I you? haven't even had time to unpack my cases. Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. By the way, enclosed, you will find a key 
that will enable you to retrieve the personal effects your mother left behind. Yours faithfully, Lord William Mortimer. Bye bye friends are real. Lawyers will find the truth. Are you sure about this, baby? Lawyers will find your wallet. <laughs> Lawyers will find your wallet. Dear Monsieur de Riche. Okay, I have a key. I got a clue. Inspiration of St. Matthew, or Matthew Waterless writing Saint Matthew. gospel. Dictated to him by voices. Fucking hell. No, fucking hell. Nothing. The torture of Ixion, condemned by the gods to lose his mind because oh, of his arrogance. coin collector, eh? <sighs> a Byzant from the Byzantine Empire. You spelled, you spelled liar wrong, Kathy. I was over at their lives at their live yesterday. I will have to go on panel and explain to explain it to them. Um Kathy? Let's just keep that to yourself. The lawyers are gonna look at you and they're gonna be like oh. <laughs> we, Is this really what you wanna use? I mean are you really telling us what you're talking about? That you did not seduce the moose. I gotta find clues about my mother. The priest robe, crosses, must be Piaggi's room. Oh shit, it's a hundred comments. What in the fuck? Don't do it, Queen Kathy. QKB. Don't fucking do it. Look, markings on the floor. Eh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret pass. Oh, this bookcase is well stocked. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way round. I need help. You sure, a Kathy? voyage around the world, the travel log of the explorer, Louis Antoine de Bougainville. One of mother's favorite books. What a coincidence. Oh, I'm gonna let y'all talk for a minute. Damn, there's nine people. <laughs> we need me. There's nine people here. here now they're talking about the moose. Threatened. I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, mother? I need help with the with these <laughs> with these people. It. A faint sign of the order, barely visible. Mother. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. Nine people. Here, here. The paper's rougher around the writing. The paper's moist here. Very light what? stain, barely visible. And the smell. <laughs> we just said, I just said hi, Kate. We think? Why, I just said hello to YKB. And then I'll... Why is what I said? YKB. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. She this all started over a wrench. She applied Damn. Her to the book. This is a clusterfuck. The writing materials. The quill has been used, but not with regular <laughs> ink. A message using invisible. That's a close fuck. She used a limit to leave a message. Just relax. How do I review Says the YKB. Message? It will be over soon, baby. <laughs> Just relax. Don't quit. <laughs> Don't clinch. It'll be fine. Find something to reveal the hidden messages. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Oh, come on now. Just unlock. My legs can't relax. Stop tinting up. 
<laughs> Saint Francis of Assisi in ecstasy before superior voices. The conversion of Saint These these are some real Saturn paintings. Devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the whole Ca cardboard Kathy. Be careful. No, we got to Oh, Saint got a hot glue gun is from Scissors, guys. Yet again, we gotta be careful. Political undertones with an image. The moose situation is getting real. Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way. When you know that this the is the Romeo and Juliet. Is Judith beheading the mentor who had raped her. <laughs> it's um, <laughs> I don't know what a There's moose a sounds like. On the lock here. Must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. Kathy, can you explain to me what a moose sounds like? Uh, I'm. <laughs> Fuckers. Stop kicking out. I can't get it. I can't get it near you. There's a note. Effects of Sir Delice to be given to her son. Really? I should probably do Guys, the internet might fuck up. Just letting you know. Alright. I've retrieved I'll restart it. if it does. I'll pause. Oh, I already read that. No worries, Tex. Okay, give it to me. Damn, Kathy. Just like that? No? No? I don't know. Okay, just give it to me. <laughs> Why'd you just take the ashes? Oh, yeah. Ashes... Oh, 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 it's magic. There we go. That's what you said to, <laughs> that's what you said to the moose. Damn, I'm making a serious mess here. It's no good. It might have worked if the writing had left marks in the paper, but no. There's only traces of lemon. Luckily, I've only put ash on part of the message. <clears throat> Look, markings on the floor. Uh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. You are the moose, YKB. Secret writing. Many people use this method for their secret correspondences. Light the flame and the ink appears. Bro, you just put that candle in your pocket when it was still lit. Hey, hang with the moosey. Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, um. you can't anywhere. Damn! The message continues, but thanks to me, the rest of the text is unreadable. 
Great. Kathy, let let Logan Lisa know that, that he's got a new tartan hoodie yesterday. Wow. Do you want to see it, Lisa? Sir, dinner is served in the red salon. Typical. I'm not hungry. Please give my apologies to all the guests. Uh, Sir Holm requests your presence, sir. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Tell him I'll yeah. be there in a minute. You need to get the fuck out of there. What are we doing here? Members of the order, you gain one. Okay. Okay. On the first floor. If I get a chance, I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. Go to the red saloon on the first floor. How do I get to the first floor? Okay. Over here. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, okay. I'll go this way too. What's up, Ariel? How do you do? Might be better to take a different stairway. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. That must be the door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh. I'm needing some popcorn. Sweet. Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet. I really need to talk to you. Is this about last night? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault, too. There's no excuse for that man's horrible behavior. You ought to tell Sir Holm. Look, the only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about Jack Peru. How's your eye? I've had worse. Please accept my apologies. If I'd stepped in sooner, you wouldn't have gotten that. My eye's nothing. Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? My mother came here to do business with Lord Mortimer, but she seems to have gone missing. So I'm here to find her. I know your mother very well. What do you really? mean? Yes, I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you. Oh, I wouldn't say nursed. No, I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed. Just make sure y'all 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 smash the button too. for Mark. She held me yeah, down with thank them you. while she cut and burned scars thank into you, me. Hold on a minute. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh. She's getting more and more agitated. Are you good, ma'am? And next you're going to tell me my mother's also responsible for that scar on your head? My heart stopped twice during the operation. I lost my memory for six months. You obviously have no idea of the abuse your mother inflicted on me. Wait. There must be some kind of mistake. My only mistake was ever meeting your mother. She's able to describe every detail without hesitation or getting flustered. It's becoming difficult not to believe the poor girl. Look, Ow. I've, I've got to go. Wait, I, I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing Started. salt in the wounds? Uh, I want to find out what really happened. No, you really don't want to know what your mother did when I shed my first blood at puberty. On the contrary, you can tell me anything. Let me be my own judge. I know your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. 
Don't say that. Not not everyone wants to use you. Some people Aww. care about you, don't they? Your mother, for example. You mean the woman who left me in the hands of your mother? The woman whose duty it was to give oh, up fuck. her life to protect me? I disowned my mother when I turned 13. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have mentioned her. Take your father. I'm sure he tried everything to save you. Sure, he tried everything. To fuck. keep me from upsetting his political affairs. Once I was declared insane, I was nothing but a burden that got in the way of his career. By leaving well. me with your mother, he made all the horrors possible. I've got nothing more to say to you. Damn. Figure it out yourself. Well, there goes that confrontation. Said brother. What the hell? What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. Can you tell me about the host? Can you tell me about the guest? I have a few questions about the manor. I wonder, oh, I wondered if you can help me out. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? Would you have a golden elixir? Would you have any devil's thorns? Have you got any embers? What's that book you're hiding in your jacket? The Sorrows of Young Werther by Goethe, sir. And I am not hiding it. Hand it to me, please. It is damaged, sir. I would never dare lend Sir a book in such a pitiful state, sir. I took it to restore. <clears throat> I would like to speak about your master, Lord Mortimer. Do please excuse me, sir, but I shall make no comment about my master. Is there anything else that Sir would like to know? Okay, let's find out about the guests. What can you tell me about the guests? Do excuse me, sir, but I am bound by discretion to say nothing about Lord Mortimer's guests, sir. Well, what a goose Perhaps, are you? Perhaps, sir, would what like goose? to know something uh, else? The, the moose. The moose is coming out. I'm just gonna leave. Where the hell is the red room? Hello. Hi, baby. Where the hell's it? I can't walk outside. Uh, I don't know where the red saloon is. Aha! I found it. Friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wulner, Minister of von Religious Wulner. Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army. And Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? 
He tells me to come urgently. None of that. He sends no one to meet me? Mm-hmm. Biash. Oh, shit. Thank you again for the vibe. Fuck. See what y'all made me do. It is I don't know. I fucked it up. The king's table. I, I could not. I, 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 Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. I done fucked it up. My dear Johan, how are you? Grand Johan. Landfall at last. Johan. Very well. Ben Helsing. Husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. <laughs> I shall feel sir. better too as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London oh, yeah. is much closer to Paris than Berlin. The moose, the moose, the moose, the moose the is on the loose. Are you gotta run, 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 the catch up with the moose. The Don't let it touch you, oh, or you'll become friend. loose. I am the moose, in my the clogs. moose. <laughs> It'll spit on your lap. <laughs> Is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Again, okay. opportunity to miss. Typically French. A Souterne, isn't it? Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight <laughs> deviation from the rule. But I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry. I appreciate the same grape varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present and the last time we drank it the orphanage in bloomsbury was still in ruins would would you repeat that oh well um, i put some small effort into the works the orphanage reopened just before christmas the bedrooms washrooms and the classrooms had all been refurbished i i don't know what to say <laughs> you have given the girls a wonderful christmas gift thank you I made a promise. Now it is done. Hmm. It's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. Just mention that orphanage broke right through Emily's hard shell. She's fangirling. <laughs> is everything all right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. <laughs> what do you think of Volner? Many believe he is the real leader of Prussia. A charming man, but with an iron fist and a velvet glove. I also know he's famous for his love of the hunt in all its forms. Don't trap yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> This guy looks like Napoleon. Have you any information? It is Napoleon. <laughs> Napoleon? <laughs> Please feel it. Well, what do you think, madam? <laughs> what is this boat about doing here? The presence of a soldier is never a good sign. It can only mean there's oh, going hi. to be further war. To answer your question, I only know that is it in your way? were in favor of the revolution. And that it always cost them their lives. <laughs> Thank you, that's helpful. Oh? Oh? Monsieur de Richet? It would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? You're a fucking small one, aren't you? <laughs> ah. It was not a small joke. Calm down. Napoleon was a small fucker! Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded was a the never this talk. agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. That scar on his nose. An agreement for cannons. Mm -hmm. Lord Mortimer Got sliced assured me that by you mistake. are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. You must know that I am deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. Yeah. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this you is a fucking hasty. sound like Napoleon just uh, please a little bit of saliva. Of but course, I need to know if I can count you among the oh, allies. she's doing it again. Of course. And for that, B I O T A T C H. I have a question for you. 
The agreement oh, fuck. an aid of 50,000 Louis d'or for 200 cannon. I cannot agree on such a deal. <laughs> I've only just taken over the affair. The agreement will be considered null and void until we've gone through it together. Is that clear? All right. You seem to know what you're doing. I have one last question I would like to pose to you. Oh, fuck. We don't know Lisa, each other yet. my amazing, beautiful sister. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? Let the people make their own choices. You are joking, I hope. The people are simply not capable of taking charge, don't you see? Oops. They are an uneducated mob who Oops. react on the spur of the moment. That's incapable chance. of providing a coherent vision for the good of the country. Okay. We should... I don't know how to remedy the situation without re-establishing a solid monarchy. And what would we stand to gain by this? We've tried a republic, but it is clear that with the situation we're in now, okay. it's I'm not leaving working. this bull. We ought to return right, to a monarchy. Back at it. That makes no sense at all, my friend. The monarchy is a privileged caste uh -huh. who have forever built their prestige by crushing and controlling the people. Fuck, I failed. <laughs> Fucking I Kathy. think there must be a misunderstanding. What do you mean? I cannot believe that Lord Mortimer advised me to speak to you. I must have misunderstood. Excuse me, please. Fucking hell. I done fucked up. You failed to prove to Napoleon that you are competent. Bravo, Louis. Total fiasco. I should have just fucking let you speak by your own. My friends, I would like to say a few words, please. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in Intoxicated. You have used four consumption items during a single quest. Four consumed... Sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> I don't fucking but know what I that can is. assure you that each and every it? one of us has always benefited from. I didn't know there was butterflies up there. I was like, what the hell? The last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. In the time George so Washington. I raise my glass in honor of you all, my new huh? and old friends. <laughs> uh, I trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Oh, 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 click there. Oh, you fucker. Right, we shall meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. I find plenty to keep me amused. Like Napoleon's accent. Just, <laughs> just need a little saliva to sound like him. All right, let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. You gotta find the place where all eyes size you up.
Oh, <laughs> I was like, can I fall down? That has nothing to do with bull moose either. Is he, what, 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 okay. Uh, are you sure, Kathy? I mean, you, you seem pretty positive about this. <laughs> Let's go look over here real quick before I talk to the, the, the guy. Romney painted Lady Hamilton as Circe. Yeah, everywhere I go, there's a fire. Discourse on the Method by Descartes. This book changed the way I looked at the world. Circe preparing wine. What better trap for Ulysses? Seersay preparing wine. What better trap for Ulysses? I had a friend named Ulysses. Find the place mentioned by your mother. It is a fucking big ass house. Look at the door. The only person sizing me up here is that monumental Zeus. It can't be here. Ah, oh, shit. Library. Let's play the harp. What about the piano? Can't do shit with the piano. There's a pattern with five circles on this chest. Don't have a key for it. Hey, these look like pages taken from an ancient encyclopedia. Where? Where? Oh. I hate to be the person to clean this house. That looks like YKB. Okay. <laughs> Look, this fireplace right here, though, that's a whole room by itself. Sit down. 
I can't. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. Yes. Can you briefly describe the ground floor, please? Very well, sir. On the ground floor, there are mainly living rooms. Sir finds himself at present in the Grand Hall. From the Grand Hall, Sir can access, on one side, the small salon where the guests like to relax with a good book. From there, Sir can access the conference room, which is closed at present for preparations. That is where Lord Mortimer likes to gather all of his guests for talks. From the other side of the Grand Hall, Sir may access the dining room. That is where Sir's meals will be served. From the dining room, Sir may benefit from an exceptional view overlooking the island. It is also the best way to access the portrait gallery, okay. where a large part of Lord Mortimer's works are exhibited. And in the gallery, Sir will also find access to the garden. To the garden? But Sir may be reassured, the building is accessible on both sides so that it surrounds the garden in question. So, so should not find oh, yeah? cause to worry. No one has ever gotten lost. Yeah, except for my mother. Has Sir uh, another question? What is outside on the island exactly? Lord Mortimer has made a point of keeping the main part of the island in its natural state, sir. For security reasons, only the wharves and the gardens are accessible to guests. If Sir would like to walk along the wharves, he has only to follow the pathway used upon his arrival. If he would like to walk in the interior gardens of the manor, I would advise Sir to pass through the portrait gallery. May I help Sir in any other way? No, take care now. Bye bye then. He got he got cut. He got into a fight with the guy that was holding him and his mother captive and he got loose hit the guy the guy pulled the knife swung the knife sliced him on the nose and he shot him that's how he got the scar on his nose I finally listened to his mother and let her I would have never had the scar but I didn't listen to mom and I went my own way and that's why I got this car. Blind Oedipus. Blinded <coughs> himself. What a tragic destiny. He blinded himself. Hmm? What is that? Fall of the Dam by Rubens. The man who can achieve the, the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. Hmm. It's a portrait of hell. That's Kathy's living room right there. I need a Oh shit. Like who's got enough time to fill this bitch up? That is a shitload of books. That's a nasty scar, though. Ooh. 
Has sources on the wall. Where all eyes size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. She go and try to find Medusa. the creature now? I gotta find Medusa. The Last Supper. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. By the Leonardo last da Vinci. Day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. That's so pretty. A meeting between Louis XIV and Philippe V. I wonder why Mortimer is particularly fond of this painting. I gotta find Medusa. The Fall of Phaeton. Another painting by Rubens. Poor Look at the Phaeton, horse's ass. Struck by lightning for borrowing his father's chariot and losing control of it. Moral, don't steal dad's chariot. Hey, I seen that picture right there. I seen that picture. That, huh? No, it's that one right there. The song of Roland. Roland feels his death is near. His brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Ah, François Premier, Receiving François. the Holy Family, a painting by Raphael. A painting by Raphael. That's where the turtles got the name. Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Donatello. All by great painters. Christ nice. Crucified by Velasquez. Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Hmm. This is not helping me find Medusa. Oh, these paintings are so cool, though. I like that one right there. Okay, enough with the paintings, Mark. I gotta find Medusa. Well, Medusa's probably in the painting. What if she's over here? Can I come out of there? I cannot go out! Can't even. Uh, I'm not allowed to go out the door. What about this? No, nope, not even that door. What about the? Nope, not even that door. What the fuck? Oh. What about in here? Where are you at, snakehead? Fucking hell. There she is. There she is. I've got to find out what Mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword? Hmm. A hero with a lantern. His wiener's own. And the last one holding a shield. 
I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. Let's show. You, sir, are gonna turn this on. Rotate statue. Uh, let's go towards the lantern. Okay. Let's go with this one. Now let's go with towards the holding hand. Origin of myths, a reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Just what I need. The text is in French on the left hand page and in Latin on the right hand. Let's find the chapter on the Medusa. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra. The Gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the Gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Hang on. This version is significantly different oh. from the regular one. It recounts how men page. have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra. The Gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the Gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Okay. That's a big clue. That is a big clue right there. If I respect the legend, I have to place the hero holding the shield in front of the Medusa. Except for here, it doesn't work. There must be something else. Hmm. Let's just go with... Now, Louis. It's time to keep a logical mind, as every good scientist should. The aim is to defeat the Medusa. So what can the lantern be for? To light up the Medusa? <laughs> Hardly likely. The hero holding the lantern will be easy prey, and the shield will be of no use. To light up the sword? No. That makes no sense. So that leaves the shield. Hmm. I wonder if the aim is to play with the light. If I turn the shield right, the light would be reflected. The ray of light will perturb the Medusa and focus her attention on the best protected hero. Oh. Oh, so that's how you like it. Uh, for Pete's sake, Emily. 
You scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Dies in the Christian. Oh yeah? So tell me what you're doing here. I'm just I mean, I Yeah. Just like me. Probably, but I asked the question first. Well then we'll pretend you haven't asked me yet. What about a little gallantry, Louie? Come on, I'm listening. What are you doing here? Make a joke. Ladies first. I admit everything, madam. You win. I've been bitten by the same bug as you. I beg your pardon? We can't resist being where we shouldn't, seeking out our host's little secrets. So, we have that in common, right? I really thought you were going to answer me this time. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. At your service, madam. Open it. Open it. I can't. A golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. You fucking hurry up. Cold? You want a rug? It'll warm you up. I wouldn't be caught dead in that horrible thing. <laughs> That's a pity. The gold color brings out your eyes. And your flattery brings out your boorishness. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. How did the English manage to get their hands on them? When someone wants to attract the attention of the world's leading power, somehow the gifts just pour in. You wouldn't have gone to the Vatican recently, would you? Are you calling me a thief? Certainly not. Never entered my mind. <laughs> Shut up and walk away, dude. Oh. But look, there's the gun. The case was outside. Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. He talks about his passion for art. Mm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. And no gum with the dum dum. You've got gum with the dum dum? No, I'm not. Uh uh. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. Stop. Don't put your grubby fat fingers on it. You find my fingers fat? <laughs> At least put on some gloves. Please note, my fingers are slim. You were going to leave marks. My god, what an amateur. Many a harpsichord player would love to have sexy fingers like mine. Tell me where you took your infiltration classes so I can have your tutor executed. Let's compare hands then. We'll soon see whose fingers are fattest. Huh? No, I'm not going to compare hands with you. Let's just keep going. Bad loser. Oh. No? Why, KB? Are you still here, sir? Eh? Sir? You should see this sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. This weapon is typically French, quite old, undoubtedly goes back to the Crusades. If it is a true Damask sword, it's worth more than a kingdom. I think this is Excalibur, King Arthur's sword. I've always dreamt of drawing it from the stone. How sweet, you're still clinging to your boyhood dreams. 
When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the it's place. Called the council. It's pretty Damn. good so far, though. Right now, I'm trying to find. Uh, I'm trying to find clues of where my mother's disappearance went. Oh, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. Here's something interesting. A man There's in the most game on here. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia, properties in Shanghai. But Incredible. Some I should play that next. Over Time. Years old, and all signed by the hand Ca of Mortimer. And I'll name the I live stream. Inspired my mother's attention. Kathy's moose. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Kathy's moose knuckle. Do you think really belong to him? <laughs> Search of the fallen moose. These documents must be fakes. No man can own that many original works, no matter how rich he is. Be careful. The Order has tried many times to estimate his personal wealth without ever succeeding. And look here. Castles in Scotland, vineyards in Italy, districts in Venice. He's richer than some European countries. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? I didn't know. I just supposed she was. And you just confirmed it. So, do you think she found what she came for? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. Why do if that's the case, why would she have left them? Matter. Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? Mortimer's collection is unique, isn't it? That's an understatement. No doubt he has a major passion for history and fine art. Or getting gifts. If each time Mortimer does someone a favor, they reward him with a priceless gift, that means he must have helped nearly everybody in the world. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. Okay, thank you for letting me stop talking. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want. What are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. A but I've nothing cheese. to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help? Just like everyone, you have your strengths and your weaknesses, and there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Um... It's obvious to me that whenever anyone seriously questions you, you start to lose your footing. It's not a big deal in and of itself, but we can help each other when that happens. Together, we'll be much stronger. My dear Louis, you're very kind, but you are completely mistaken. I have no problem whatsoever dealing with being questioned. 
I'm sorry to tell you, but you read me badly. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Yes. Fuck. You're the kind of girl who gets by on her own and who shares nothing. The fact is, you are completely mistaken about Fuck me. Fuck me. I already have a work partner. I know my Should've weaknesses. Known. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me. But I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler? So, your partner is... It's a woman. Fuck. It's as obvious as it is surprising. You're my mother's hard-hitting partner. Oh, God, do you really believe the nonsense that comes Fuck. out of your mouth? Well, a second ago I did, a little. Sorry, Louis, your mother is not my partner. Well, chances are you're working with a member of the Order. The only members of the Order, other than ourselves, are your mother and Mr. Washington. The former has sadly gone missing. As for the latter, I knew nothing of his arrival. Incidentally, you must have Fuck. noticed how inefficiently our Order communicates internationally. I can't do Right, shit. time is short. You haven't convinced me. I prefer to remain discreet. Don't take it the wrong way. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. And if I reacted so strongly at the sight Mother of the cameo fucker. pendant, it's because I thought it belonged to her. But it doesn't. I understand. I won't insist. Fuck you in hell. It's time to leave. Ooh. 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 Who? Who? <coughs> fucking. <coughs> fucking hell. Because I can hear you loud ass. So, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit it has been fun by your side. Same here. The fuck, Chuck? <coughs> oh shit. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, je ne sais quoi. We need to talk now, otherwise it'll be too late. Looks she like she really understand. needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? I gotta I'm follow sorry, Elizabeth. Emily, I can't leave Elizabeth like this. All right, Elizabeth. How can I help? My bad. Thank you. Come on, follow me. Well, Elizabeth, what was so urgent? Like For God's China. sakes, what happened in here? Yes. I really need to talk to you, Louis, Always. right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. All right. What have you got on your mind now? You've got to listen to what I have to say while there's still time. You need to know the truth about your mother. About my mother? I'm always on your panel. What do you mean? 
I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? <laughs> when? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top and I night? saw her in the distance. She tried to hide right away, but I'm sure it was her. Are you saying you recognized my mother in the middle of the night while she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know it was her. You just said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm telling you it was her. She doesn't hesitate on her answers. She's not trembling. She's really convinced of what she's seen. Did you talk to each other? No, she was far away. I I didn't make any noise, and then she was gone. Have you told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here. I'm telling you, it was her. Okay, well, why are you yes. yelling me? I need something to calm me down. I'll drink with you, but let's go easy on it, okay? I don't know where she gets her rot cut from, but frankly, it's disgusting. You know, Louis, when I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. I've only just now realized that I've been Poor drawn Kathy. here into a trap. Whoa. The moose has left. Alcohol's it. gone to my head. Here, the condemned's last drink. Elizabeth, alcohol never solves anything. I'm going to stop now. Listen up. You want to know what your mother was capable of, right? You want to know the reason why? Well, you're gonna have to follow me to the bottom of the abyss, Louie. Either drink or get out. Man, I... I need to take it easy with the booze. At this rate, I won't last the night. Let's go easy on the drinking, okay? Alcohol won't solve our problems. Ugh, the second one isn't any easier. So, do you want to know why she did all those things to me, or not? Even if it changes the image you have of her, forever? What was she trying to cure you of, then? Of the one illness she never managed to treat me for. Come on, Elizabeth. We have to finish what we started. I feel all dizzy. There must have been a reason. Just tell me. Tell me what my mother treated you for. She wanted to silence them. W what? You what are you talking about? Weight. Silence what? Dizzy after the three, voices. Three drinks. The voices in my head. They speak to me, Louis. They've always told me what to do. They say nasty things to me. Is she, is she possessed? Is she stupid? Dark raving mad. Let's go. Elizabeth, that. are are you saying that that spirits talk to you? You're right. Sometimes there are several voices. How did you know? No, listen, I, I don't know anything. I I'm just repeating what you said. They want me. Want me just for themselves. They talk to me all the time. Yet your mother did everything to make them go away ever since i was little and look at the result it's impossible mother you spent your life trying to prove that the supernatural doesn't exist why punish this poor girl oh shit what has she done to you uh-oh louis are you starting to believe me no but she... too bad it's all been for nothing they're still there you know what do you mean they're still talking to you? All the time. Despite everything Sarah put me through, I still hear them. And here I am on a lost island, knowing that no one knows me, 
and I find myself here at the exact same time as her. You see? You understand? You sense it too. I'm going to die here. I beg you, tell me you believe me. I'm here, Elizabeth. I'm right here with you. And I do believe you. Thank you, Louis. You know, despite what people might think, I'm not crazy. You might not be crazy, but you're supposed to be dead. My God, Elizabeth, how is this possible? Welcome to my world, little Louie. Welcome to my life. Advance to escape from the island. Elizabeth, the whole story stinks of death. If I were you, I'd have left the moment you heard me speak about my mother. I don't know if she knows you're here, but if I had any doubt, I wouldn't take the risk. Yeah, you're right. I can't stay here another minute. I need to get the hell out of here. I need to find a boat and get away. I'm not dying here. Oh, I feel so dizzy. You like my little concoction, don't you? That's rare. What? It no longer has any effect on me, but my guests generally don't appreciate me mixing alcohol with laudanum. What's laudanum? What? You put laudanum in my drink? In both. Don't worry, my little Louie. We'll sink down to the bottom together. Oh, man. I feel like puking. I really feel like shit. Uh, I gotta get back. Don't worry, Louie. I'm here now. I'll take good care of you, and then I'll leave. Don't touch me! Just leave. If I get up a fall. <sighs> oh, little Louie's tired. Leave everything to me. Oh, heroin. Oh, shit. She put heroin in the drink. Oh, she's got a knife. A dagger. What are you doing, lady? Just let go. I think I'm about to die. Oh, good to see that you're still here, Jimbo. Jimmy. sucks I don't have the next I have to buy it why downloadable content hold on guys I'm gonna check this out real quick that's some bullshit that's like planes Batman get a butt oh hell nah All right, that sucks. <laughs> it was starting to become good. <clears throat> no, Jimmy just talked. Jimmy's still there.
That sucks. Oh well. Well, chat. I guess. I guess we go our separate ways from here. Thank y'all for joining me. And y'all have a good night. But remember, get these moose. <laughs>